Happy Monday, everyone. It's Lisa from Bumpin' Fuzzies. I hope everyone is doing well. And I am not putting myself on camera today because I have not combed my hair. <laughs> but let's get to it. Let's talk about these soaps. So I went ahead and I made some uh, lemongrass uh, all natural soap last night. And it is smelling so good. So these are going to sit out for about three to four weeks and cure. You know, they're going to sit and cure. And um, I'll be selling these at the Founders Day event that's coming up in Belleville on May 7th, I believe. So today I just wanted to show you how I cut uh, my soaps into slices. So last night. I did lemongrass and also lavender. This is the lavender. This will make about, let's see, six, nine, 10, about 12, maybe 15 bars of soap when I'm done cutting it. But I wanted to show you the cutting process that I do. This is, came out very nice. And the purple should be all the way through once I start to cut it, you'll start to see the different um, swirls that are in it. Just like you can see the swirls that are in the lavender. I mean, uh, that are in the lemongrass soap as well. And as they cure, the color will begin to, you know, settle in and it'll be beautiful. So let's go ahead and get this soap cut. What I do is, I know some people use, um, you know, the actual soap cutter. I still do all my soaps by hand. So I basically just sit it in and, um, and then I go ahead and I start to cut each slice. So let me go ahead and get started and then I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And they smell really, really good. So to kind of start out, use the lemon, the lavender. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at the color on that. It smells so good. And like I said, these will be sold at the event. So you will see those, these soaps here. They'll be wrapped up, of course. I wrap all my soaps. I don't like for anything to get on them as far as like dust or people's fingerprints. I feel like soap should be wrapped, you know, to uh, even though it is soap, you still want to keep it wrapped. You don't want to buy soap that everybody else has touched. Um, so I do wrap my soaps, locks in that fragrance. Look how beautiful that is. And this is uh, olive oil, coconut oil, and palm oil. This is strictly all natural. All right, let me finish cutting the rest. As you see, every slice will showcase a different swirl. And this is why I love when it's time to cut the soaps. I love cutting my soaps. Look at that. See, they always look different. Every time you slice, you come out with a different result. Absolutely love it. These bars will be nice and hard. They do not melt fast when you run water on them. These are very, they'll be really nice hard bars. The bars this year will be going for $7.50. Unfortunately, I've had to increase the price of my soaps because everything else has increased. The olive oil, all the ingredients, everything has increased. But since I do everything from home, I don't have any store overhead or anything like that. I try to keep the price as low as I can, I want everybody to be able to experience 
having the all natural soap, you know, um, taking care of your body, getting rid of those chemicals. It's bad enough we have to eat chemical. So at least we can start to take care of our bodies on the outside as well as the in. But I tell people, always look at the outside of your body as well. Love your body. Be all natural. Love yourself. And this is one of the reasons why I love making all natural products. I want people to love themselves. Love their body. All right, this is the last cut. This last bar is going to be big because, see, I couldn't really get anything much off that back end. That back end will wind up creating what we call is like a little bar. And sometimes what I do is I'll just give it to somebody, you know, that has already bought a few bars. I'm like, just take that little sliver. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this. And that last bar is just going to be bigger than the norm. <laughs> so whoever who shows up at the event on May 7th, on Founders Day in the Belleville Park, you can come and get this big bar. It's extra, it's extra bigger than, than the other ones. <laughs> if you want that big bar of lavender. All right, everybody. I just wanted to share how I cut my soaps so you all can see it and experience it. I wish you could smell the soaps. Oh, they smell so wonderful. And I'm hoping to see you all next month. Um, it's going to be wonderful. As you can see, I, I put some yellow in, but sometimes with the yellow, you don't always get to see the swirl as beautiful as you would in the purple. But it's okay. It's still wonderful. The coloring that I use is an all-natural color. Um, more like food coloring. So therefore, it's really good for the skin. And that might be why, too, I don't have really deep colors. To me, this is deep enough. I make the soaps to um, benefit your skin. I don't make the soaps just to look beautiful. So I really appreciate everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. And thanks so much for being with Bump and Fuzzies. Bye-bye. Hit like and subscribe.